Hi, welcome to Chris's Tips, Tricks, and Things. Today's tip, trick, or thing is a super high-tech technique that I just invented called Big Ball Hot Sun. And I use it to shape sheets of flat foam into beautiful, beautiful domes. Perfect for a shield. Want to see how I did it? Let's go. Grab some foam tiles from your stash in the roof of your garage. They come in different thicknesses, but the ones I used are the thinner ones shown here, which are about one centimeter thick. Measure diagonally both ways to find the center point in the foam sheet. Make a mark in the middle of your ruler and place that over the center point with your ruler sitting horizontal across the foam. Then make another mark just inside where your ruler hits the edge of the foam. Now drill a hole right through the ruler in those two places. I know, it sounds crazy, but hey, it's your ruler. Cut off all the puzzle piece bits on the edge of the foam mat because they're just going to get in the way. Stick a sharp pointy object through one of the holes right in the center. Stick a pen in one of the other holes and then draw a big circle. How fun is this? And now that you have your circle, you can cut it out. Now go find that exercise ball that you thought you were going to use all the time but never do. Inflate it as big as you can without it exploding. Grab some cling wrap from the kitchen and start wrapping it around the foam circle and the ball at the same time. Slowly but surely, the foam will start to take the shape of the ball. Don't worry if there's some lumps and bumps in the foam still at this point. We basically just want to get the plastic wrap as tight as we can and cover the whole ball with it. Once the ball is totally wrapped in cling wrap, get out your clear packing tape and tape down some of the bigger lumps and bumps. The last thing you want to do is tape all the way around the outside edge of the foam disc using short strips of tape. This really evens out the pressure on that outside edge and flattens everything down really nicely. Now that it looks all beautiful and smooth, take it out to your car and shove it inside. I should point out that this needs to be done on a hot day, as the foam needs heat to convince it that it doesn't want to stay flat anymore. If it doesn't fit in your car or you don't have a car, you can also just set it out in the sun. Just be aware it's going to take longer and need to be hotter outside. Let it sit outside for a day or in your car for a few hours, and then bring it inside and let it cool down. Cut off the tape, being careful not to pop your ball, and pull out your new shield. Now if you want a quick shield, you could call that good and be done. But if you want a super awesome shield, keep watching. Cut a second piece of foam, but this time make your mark 2 centimeters smaller than the original, and slant your knife at an outward angle while you're cutting. Bend this piece of foam the same way, but this time bend it with the contour facing outward. This will give you a second piece of foam that will fit beautifully inside the first. Old leather belts work great for handles. Figure out where you want them to be placed, and then cut slits for them through the inside foam layer. Feed the leather through the slots and then glue the ends down to the back of the inside foam disc. It's a good idea to sand the foam before you glue onto it for a good bond. For gluing the two halves together, I used a water-based contact cement. I normally don't use this on my projects because it's not quite strong enough. However, since there's so much surface area, that'll be no problem on this one. Completely cover both surfaces, and once the glue is dried according to the specifications on your bottle, it's time to put them together. With contact cement, as soon as it touches, it sticks, so you want to be able to position things properly before you start sticking them down. So cut some strips of cardboard and lay them on like a star on the outside shield piece. That way you can place the backside on, center it in the middle, and then press down in the center firmly once you're happy. Then go around and slide each cardboard piece out a few inches and press down the next section. Keep doing this until all the cardboard pieces are pulled out. I do apologize for the blurriness of this clip as my camera decided not to focus. Once all the cardboard pieces are out, give everything one last nice firm press and you're done. Well that's today's foam doming tip. I am super super happy with how this shield turned out because of this new technique, and because it has double layers to hold it. This is my old Captain America shield, which I did differently. I did dome it a little bit, but it is not nearly as tough as this one is. So I'm really excited about this new technique, and I think you should be too. Hey, and if you like what you saw here today, why not subscribe? And then you can see more things sometime later. Thanks for watching. See ya.